Hey folks, Coach Patrick here from MarathonNation.us, back with another weekly coach video. Uh, this week we have a question from one of our readers whose name is, hold on a second, Brian. Brian says he ran the California International Marathon uh, a couple months ago and about mile 20 started experiencing pretty bad knee pain. Um, finished the race, got through it, uh, and really hasn't done very much and recently got back into running a couple months later. And even on a first three mile run, right away, same knee pain, problem, etc. He wanted to know what he can do to take care of it. Um, he sort of he's self-diagnosed as IT band pain. And the IT, for those of you who don't know, is a basically it's a layer of fascia that runs from your hip all the way down uh, to the outside of your knee. Let me see if I can <coughs> show that. So it's gonna run from, from your hip up here, basically, all the way down the side of your leg and then attaching out here on the side of your knee. Uh, so a lot of people experience IT vein pain at either one of the connective points, right? Okay, they experience it down here in the knee, typically first. Um, later on, they'll have it up here uh, in the posterior compartment, up here in the, in the, in the back of the hip. Um, and uh, basically, it's a layer of fascia, so it's not muscle. Um, what it does is it kind of keeps everything together uh, in alignment, um, and if some of your muscles, basically, this is, I'm not a physical therapist, but basically, uh, if some of your muscles are being impeded or not working properly, the fascia starts to take on a little bit more of a workload, um, and, uh, it can become aggravated, and once it gets tight, it's kind of like shrink wrap. It's, uh, fascia itself, uh, doesn't necessarily, um, doesn't contract and release like muscles do, um, and as such, takes some pretty serious work to get it to loosen up again, so, that's why, in Brian's case, not taking time, or rather taking time off, did not resolve the issue in and of itself. Because again, we've got that shrink rack effect, wrap effect where the, the fascia is just kind of knitted up and come together. And it's not going to come loose unless you actually work on it. Um, you know, I'm trying to think of a, a complimentary example. Um, out, you, know, um, you know, like if you, if you dry a sponge up, it's going to get tight. You don't just leave the sponge out and come back three months later and hope that sponge is much more pliable. You have to do work to it. You have to put water in, etc., to, to get it to loosen up. And your fascia is very simple, similar to that sort of same type of, of effect, that that tightness and hardness over time. So, in order to keep your IT band or any layer of fascia supple, um, you know the best thing to do is to get yourself to see a physical therapist. Um, hopefully, you can get one that's covered, visit covered by your insurance. Um, but a physical therapist will do a good job of helping you sort of understand where you are with your IT band uh, and kind of give you a sense of the degree of severity. Um, some people have very minimal IT band issues. They've had a couple, you know, aches or pains. They can take care of it in a week or two and they're fine. Other folks have, have ignored it for a while or have had other um, complementary issues that have led to pretty severe what we call compartment syndrome um, where they've been sidelined for months from exercise, which is um, a bit of a horror story, but uh, is always an outlying possibility. So you absolutely need to be on top of that as you take care of your body. So if you can, go to see a professional. If you can't, you want to get online and find out some resources on how you can both stretch and then um, lengthen that fascia. And since it's not like a typical muscle, um, you can you can really pound on it from a from a lengthening perspective. And a, a lot of folks recommend doing rolling. Um, you can roll, um, they sell foam rollers um, that you can actually lay on the side of your hip. Um, and if this, if this is the foam roll and this is my hip, I'm actually gonna roll my hip along the top of that foam roller so I can get into uh, digging into that fascia, really kind of sort of lengthen it out myself particularly at the connection points, right? Either at the hip or down at the knee, um, and especially wherever you're suffering from that particular issue. Um, other times people will recommend using something like a, like a tennis ball or a similar ball uh, that you can sit on and work on the hip as well. Uh, it's something that's a little bit easier to use. Um, um, uh, it's, it travels well, you know, right? You can use it in a car, you can use it in any seat you're sitting on to kind of work the hip or any of those, either of those attachment points. You can even use the ball in your hand to kind of massage the end of your knee. Um, at the end of the day, if you're experiencing pain on your runs right now, that tells me that your body has not properly resolved the, the issue with your IT band and you need to get it addressed. It's not the end of your world and you can probably bike, um, swim, or do any other sort of similar um, cardio exercise, but until uh, you've done some serious work on your IT band um, and had it looked at, hopefully, um, I would avoid doing the running right now. Uh, your fitness is there, it hasn't gone anywhere, and you can get fit riding your bike and doing other stuff as well. What we want to avoid is you taking that IT band syndrome and pushing it to another level entirely that's going to require you to take even more recovery off later down the line. So um, the minute you start to feel that onset of IT band syndrome, stop, take account of what's going on, uh, take a look at your shoes, make sure you're running on a flat surface, make sure your shoes are in good condition, 
um, and take, you know, do some self massage and care like that. That's a great website online called athletestreatingathletes.com. Um, and Lee Boyle, the head of that site, has put up some great videos and information resources for you on how you can take care of your body um, to make sure that you remain a healthy and happy runner. All right. Hopefully that helps you out, Brian. Uh, I feel your pain, literally. I've been there myself before, but with a little bit of focus and you know, a couple solid days of not running but other complimentary exercise, I'm confident you'll be back uh, on track, no pun intended, and uh, ready to rock, okay? For your May race even. So it can be done. It can be done. Thanks, folks, for tuning in. Coach Patrick from MarathonNation.us signing off. Uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. I'll see you online or at the races. Bye-bye.